But we do have team coverage tonight. Kaylin Hagwood, she is live at Tamika Isaac Devine's watch party. We're going to start, though, with News 19's Eleanor Tabone, who's covering Daniel Rickman. Good evening. Yes, JR, we are down here at Main Course in downtown Columbia. And as you said, it's looking to be a runoff. But regardless, it was a big celebration here with supporters showing their support for Rickman. There looked to be about 70 to 100 people here. There was a band, a lot of celebrations. We did get a chance to speak to Rickman, who says he's, he's proud of what he's achieved, but he says there's much to do in the next few weeks. While his supporters who came out, we spoke to them as well, and some of them say they support Rickerman because of his business mindset. Take a listen. I'm overwhelmed at the support that has come out today, excited about the numbers. Wish we could have got to 50%, but we're going to get up tomorrow morning and keep going. Thank you. Please come back out and vote. We need you the second time. Don't stop now. We will continue to keep you updated on what happens out here. And for more information, head to the WLTX website. Reporting live in Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19 WLTX. Eleanor, thank you. Rickerman will probably face Tamika Isaac Devine in the upcoming runoff in two weeks. That's the way it appears at this hour with nearly all of the precincts reporting. We're going to check in with Kaylin now, who is at the Tamika Isaac Devine watch party. Kaylin? Well, JR, things are wrapping up here at the Isaac Divine Camp after a night that started with a lot of enthusiasm and ultimately fizzled out as the polls began to favor Daniel Rickenman. Still, there is a lot of hope among this crowd, among this group of supporters who say that they are going to be right back out um, rallying for her in the hopes of a runoff election that will show that Tamika Isaac Divine will be the next City of Columbia mayor. Over the next two weeks, we will continue to do what we've done, and that is to connect with every single voter that we can in the city of Columbia, listening to their vision, understanding how we can connect and pull together, and make sure that we're moving forward for a more equitable city. Well, Ms. Devine has been an at-large council person for nearly two decades. If she does win the city of Columbia spot, she'll be the first female mayor of the city. Reporting live here at the Columbia Convention Center, Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX. JR? All right, Kaylin, thank you so very much.